Does Field SQL have a future? i.e. does it stand out as a core integral component in modern data engineering or application development stacks? Or is it considered an exception use language driven by compliance requirements rather than intrinsic value? Full disclosure here, I will happily be accused of bias here because I've written two books in Peel SQL. So obviously I'm a bit of a Peel SQL fanboy here, but hopefully I can temper that enthusiasm with something which I believe is objective. The origins of Peel SQL you know, have been around forever. And that is, you know, there was this time before the internet when we all worked on mainframes and then this revolution called client server came along. And as we were told, client server was going to rule the world forever. We had client server programs. I remember the days of, you know, Gupta and Delphi and Oracle forms, all these things running as client server applications. And they were extremely successful. But when you have a client and you have a server and you have a very thin little wire between them, you have a lot of network latency. Very quickly, the drive came to be able to run processing on close to the data. Peel SQL was hence born, as well as other similar languages. It's funny how you know you see on the intertubes everywhere people talking about all oh, stored procedures or stored programs of any sort on a database server are bad. You know, it's a, it's a bad programming model, etc. Yeah, people should never ever do it. And then over time, all the people that were you know singing these things, saying, "Oh, it's a really bad idea." All those people in those technology groups are now finding that they're building technological solutions that are like that. For example, even like React programmers, there's now a thing called server-side React. So you can run your code closer to the data. <gasps> Mind-blowing, isn't that an incredible revelation? When it comes to dealing with data, running the code close to the data is a lot better than running the data over to the code. Who would have thought? Anyway, I digress. Peel SQL was very much about solving these client-server latency issues. And therefore everyone said, oh, well, now that we have the internet and app servers and app servers sit in the data center, close to the data servers, surely Peel SQL is now a thing of the past. I disagree with that, but I'm also happy to concede that I think here at Oracle, we did a bad job when it came to Peel SQL. We came up with this philosophy a while ago called SmartDB. And this is one of the slides from the official SmartDB deck saying that this is how you should architect your applications. You have data and then you have one code layer and then a different declaration layer and then an error handling layer, then an API layer, then a JSON handling layer, then code based access control layers around that. Then you have a firewall, then you have ORDS. We said this is the way you should be writing applications. And what's more is if you weren't doing this, you were a failure. I attended some you know, webinars or in those days because of COVID, but also face to face sessions where Oracle people stood up and said, if you're not using SmartDB, you are wasting your time. You're, you know, it's just a silly thing to do. And we, and we were critical. We were critical of people who weren't using it, which I thought was just offensive. Similarly, there were other people that were huge fans of SmartDB and, and the philosophy behind SmartDB in terms of running code close to the data when it comes to data processing, I'm a huge fan of. And we had people who were like, yeah, that's, yeah they've embraced the idea and maybe they weren't doing just a, a tiny percent of some of the things in smart DB. And what happens? There were people out there going, well, you're a failure. If you're not gonna go 100%, you're a failure. I hate both those positions because it's never about religion. And, and this is the thing that kills me. And you know, the, the question of Peel SQL dying is, is something you see about any language on any platform on the internet. People are always saying, yeah, is Java dead? Is JavaScript dead? Is this dead? Is that dead? And there's always this religious fervor about it. And people say, you know, like, I hate religious arguments because religion never solved a tech problem. Peel SQL is just another tool in the toolbox in terms of building applications successfully. Rather than go into a huge full long talk, I actually have a talk about why I think Peel SQL is still a critical part of any successful Oracle application. Rather than that, because that's a 45 minute talk, I'll give you a couple of slides from it, which is just a real customer example. Before I joined Oracle, I worked at a gambling company um, here in WA, and they were migrating uh, from a mainframe and rebuilding their gambling system. And so why is this a critical system? Well, Australians gamble a lot. On average, about $25 billion a year, which gives you an idea for the amount of transaction rates that go through gambling systems in Australia. Their new system, which was migrating off a mainframe, was a combination of C Sharp, C++, Enterprise Service Bus and Tuxedo, all managed via WebLogic through services and then talking to the database. 
And that's what the sort of the schematic looked like. As a result, everything was written in little routines. So every time you wanted, us, you know, someone comes along, they want, to, they want to place a bet on, say, a horse race, we'd call these little modular routines. Is that race open for betting? Someone wants to bet, say, a winner or a place bet or a trifecta or one of the various new bets. Is that type available for this race? Are all the horses on your bet valid? Maybe some of them have been scratched. Are the funds in your account sufficient for the bet you're trying to place? Are there any restrictions on you because some people are not allowed to bet, you know, et cetera? On and on and on. There's all these things that have to be called before you're allowed to place a bet. Every single one of them was a lovely modular piece of code in either C++ or C Sharp that was controlled with services. So even though the diagram looks like this, this um, is a much closer form of reality. To place a bet, you end up calling a myriad of services. Every single service goes between WebLogic to the database back and forth. Yes, it's all in the same data center, but even small latency times a million is a lot of latency. That's how I got involved with this um, organization. They said, we're having some dramas. You know, we're doing thousands of transactions per second and we just can't get the load done. This is how I discovered they had all these hundreds of APIs, which is great. I mean, this is good modular coding. Hundreds of APIs doing all these particular functions, etc. Out of all these hundreds of APIs, what we did was we took two. People wanted to place a bet. And what happens is when a horse race is finished or any sporting event is finished, people come on with their ticket and they go, am I a winner? Something like 80% of all activity on this database was someone betting, someone saying, is my bet a winner? Out of all those hundreds of APIs, we took those two and put them into Peel SQL. That's all we did. I'd love to say we refactored the code, et cetera. We didn't do any of that. If the C-sharp program called place a bet did 100 API calls, we simply got those 100 calls, we put them down in Peel SQL and still did the 100 calls. I'm sure we could have made it far more efficient, maybe just batch up some calls, you know, refactor the code. We didn't want to do any of that. We simply said, here's 100 separate SQL statements. Let's run 100 separate SQL statements sitting here in Peel SQL. And when they're all run, we'll send it back. So it wasn't even good refactoring. It was simply relocating code that was dealing with data close to the data. And the best language for that is obviously Peel SQL. Solve the problem. Literally all their performance problems disappeared with that simple change. And that's why you know, things like Peel SQL are critical, I think, for applications in the Oracle world. And this is my key thing. It's not about the language. I'm not saying that Peel SQL is the best language in the world. I couldn't care less if you ran a C program on the database server or a node program or anything else, but run the programs in a location and in a model that best suits the requirement. And for dealing with data, you want to run code close to the data. And having said you could run C or JavaScript, whatever, Peel SQL has a unique advantage because it is so tightly bound to the database. The things you can run static SQL, it keeps cursors open, etc. There's all sorts of tweaks and features in Peel SQL that these other environments can never have because they're simply not close enough to the database.